Sorry about that. I did not check um, if the video is about to end or not. So I just made um, a print screen and said this shit is over. Right now everything is cool, but um, the problem we have right now is we have no ways of checking if we are successful or not. Yes, we have a death notifier and nothing matters if um, our character dies. But still, um, just to make everything, make sure that everything is okay, um, we will just make a check if the entire thing is successful or not. For that, we just go for crafting item pop-up letter. And um, here is the thing. Even if we remove our um, crafting item pop-up letter from the parent, the animation is still being played. So whenever we call um, death notifier over here, it will just trigger all the time. So for this one, I'm going to add any variable over here. I will call it success and I will make it a boolean. So um, whenever the button press function is called, I am going to um, set this value, compile it. On default, it will be false, but it will set this to true. And then um, on the event graph, it will send the death notifier um, the beam value <coughs> it has, basically. So I will change death notifier, edit an input, and the input will just be um, success. Compile it, go back, and on this success. I'm gonna add this. By the way, my PC started to act up because of um, too much uh, lack of space. So if you see some artifacts with the video, I'm sorry about them. Uh, for crafting table, we are getting the success and on here, we are gonna make a branch, connect it like this. And if it is not successful, we will print character died and we will break the link, compile, and let's just see if there's something that we need to add. Yeah, there's one more thing that we need to add, and it is um, on crafting table, we need to add ourselves the item. So over here, I need to get the character, but there is none. We don't know what who the character is. So for that, I am going to add a variable and I will name it to 7 character reference. I will change its type to 7 character reference. I will expose it on spawn, compile, go for the character blueprint, and um, whenever I am creating it, I should give itself um, the character reference. However, okay, let's just make it um, editable too. And yes, as you see, we got this one over here. We will just make a um, get reference to self. Compile it, go back over here, and um, sorry, not this one, this one, yeah. So over here, this is where um, our thing is done, like um, this is where we set, check if the thing is over. So I'm just going to add a success word variable over here to success and make it a boolean to compile it and on death notifier um, let's just make it 
true on default over here it should be set to false so when the character dies it's just not a success not at all go back to event graph and make a branch and condition is success so if we are successful then we are going to add an item so let's just get character and get inventory get an item and over here um, we just pick the index of the item or we can just iterate through all of them and um, check if it's a bomb or something but this is why we had IDs I'm dragging this and over here I'm just gonna check quantity and I will say set quantity first and drag another one and I'm gonna get quantity and integer plus integer I'm gonna add it one and do it this way and I will try to um, be quick and whenever the game starts I'm just gonna press quickly press G so that we can um, print okay we got some flutter over here I need to get rid of that but um, I'll just do that later on I'll just try to see it so I will press play press G and then input everything two eight three zero four six one six six this shit is over and character died probably um, just probably the reason why that was called is we just missed one but as you see let's, let's just count them count how many of them we get eight four we missed one because it was out of the bounds okay um, this is getting boring I will decrease these values so that I do not miss them 500 and 400 should be sufficient press and play 5 0 3 3 5 8 3 2 8 0 this shit is over and yes we did not have a character died notification which means that this thing works let me get rid of all of these warnings um, it's probably on 7 character if not it should be on great character okay PC got frozen again so yes this one I'm gonna comment I cannot now I did hopefully the compilation will be fast come on now just because of these compilations the videos are taking too much too much of time I'm just gonna pause it because it can take a lot of time oh no I'm not. so yeah I will now press G so we can actually see our inventory and then I will just press G again after it is successful so G seven three zero zero three four nine seven two seven this shit is over and I press G now and stop so um, this one bomb is item ID 2 and we had two of them initially and as you see we increased it by one so let's just make a mistake this time and miss one of them 
I missed one, eight, nine, two, and as you see, character just died. I killed the character many, many, many times. Seven, one, seven. And I'm pressing G now. And as you see, it is two. So thank you for watching. Um, the next video will be about archery and it will have a lot of physics it will have a lot of physics involved uh, basically we are gonna make our character pride pride will be an archer and um, we will get make an introduction to aiming how to aim how to launch objects how to um, create them and it will be done entirely in C++ except for just minor things like um, maybe printing some stuff and it's gonna be fun I promise thank you for watching again and see you on the next video